tough situation. How do I carry <laughs> my coffee? How do I carry my coffee out to the car to go to the podiatrist right now? This is uh, this is ma major issue, guys. Major issue. I don't know. Ugh. Made it, made it to the car. Oh man, grateful for my legs. You know, when you're able to use them at full speed, it's a really nice thing. Let's just say I just learned a lot. I just learned a lot. All right, let's go get our workout on and then I'll update you guys. Wow. Let's just say it connects to Napoleon. I'll just put it that way. Just put a little hint, hint for you. All right, going into the gym and thank you. Yesterday's question of the day was all about ideas for cross training workouts. These are amazing. Uh, let's see, here's one for example. One session of 15 by 50 meters in the pool, one session of a tempo 800 meter, one long swim session, and just like breaking up, I think one of the, the main takeaways from your comments for cross training is to make sure you change it up because you can get, you know, it's different. It's, it's quote unquote a little boring at times to be in the pool and uh, to be on the bike. And I do think I might stay a little bit away from the bike just to make sure there's no uh, weight bearing on the foot. For now, uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it feels in there. But I, I might do. Yeah, I might do more pool today. Anyway, thank you for all the ideas. You're amazing. These help a ton. From Bill, from Drew, from Joshua, from uh, uh, let's see, let's see, from Hank. Oh my God. Uh, from Ophir. Uh, sorry if I'm not saying your name right. Oh my, just so many. So I appreciate it. It helps me get uh, motivated to get in there and rock and roll. All right, let's go. I'll also mention real quick, the podiatrist, the doctor said that I can definitely do cross training in the pool especially, and he actually said I could I could bike, but if I have any sort of discomfort on the bike, I'm, I'm not gonna do it. So um, anyway, just wanted to, because there, uh, there is a comment here, somebody saying just be careful with the cross training if it's, if, if you don't, if your doctor doesn't approve it. So anyway, just so you know, the podiatrist gave the thumbs up. Man, a lot of good comments. Ah, oh, I love you. Ah, oh, thank you for fighting with me. There's my bell. Oh man, my neighbor just came over, knocked on our door, and was like, hey, I saw your crutches. Do you need a scooter? I have a scooter now. 
th those scooters that you put your leg up on and you just move around the house, that is going to be a game changer. I don't mind crutches. In fact, it's like a little bit of upper body work, but it is tempting. I must say it's tempting to drag the hurt foot a little bit when you're going through the motion because it's just a little easier. So the scooter just takes like all the pressure off um, as far as the weight. So this is exciting. Thank you to my neighbors for having a scooter, uh, a medical scooter. I don't know how much those cost. I'm guessing a couple hundred bucks. So kudos. That's very good. Okay, everybody. Diagnosis keyword. We have a diagnosis today. Uh, basically, I will discuss very soon when I think this injury started in the training cycle. What workout? I, I, I think I might be able to pinpoint a workout, actually. It's kind of crazy. And the shoe the shoes that I was wearing in that workout. So I will update you on that soon, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Um, so here we go. Basically, so far, no stress fracture from the physician assistant. I was corrected yesterday, it's, it's, I didn't know this, it's not physician's assistant, it's the physician assistant, the radiologist, and today, the podiatrist all have said no stress fracture based on the x-ray. And I totally get it. I'm reading your comments. You might think I don't read your comments, but I'm reading all your comments down below over the past two or three days. I can't always reply to all of them. In fact, I can barely thumb up all of them at this point because you guys are commenting so much and I appreciate it so much. But uh, not many. Well, no, I should say, I should probably say a handful of people have said have said that a stress fracture will not show up on an x-ray and I would beg to differ a little bit because I have personally seen my own stress fractures in the past through x-rays but I will say I, I do agree with you that obviously an MRI would have a stress fracture show up uh, much more pronounced and if it's a stress fracture in a weird spot that the x-ray just is not picking up um, so I, I'm, I'm listening to your comments. I appreciate your concern. And so at this point, I'm not going to get an MRI uh, because I'm listening to the podiatrist. He is not recommending that I need one at this point. Basically, the treatment for a stress fracture and the treatment for the actual injury that I'm about to tell you, um, it's basically the same, okay? Rest, ice, uh, compression, elevate, right? RICE for runners is the acronym there. And then also uh, the boot. He was very pleased that he saw me walking in with a boot and crutches. Now I have a scooter, so this is good. And okay, let's get to the actual injury, at least what he's calling it, the diagnosis. Are you ready for this? I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. Everybody in France, and this connects to Napoleon. That's right. During the Napoleonic Wars, hold on, let me find it. Jacques Les Franc de Saint Martin. Uh, he was a surgeon during the Napoleonic Wars, and basically this injury is named after him. So the diagnosis is that I have a, I'm just going to pronounce it the Lisfranc sprain. L-I-S-F-R-A-N-C. Everybody in France, help me out. Maybe if you live near France and you know French well, let, let me know how you pronounce that. So it's the Lisfranc uh, sprain. And basically, I'm just going to read for you what, it's, what it is. The Lisfranc ligament is a large band of plantar co collagenous tissue that spans the articulation of the medial cuneiform and the second metatarsal base, okay? Remember, I, I did say it feels like I have a stress fracture on the second metatarsal. I did kind of, I was honing in on that area. The bony architecture of this joint, specifically the keystone wedging of the second metatarsal into the cuneiform forms the focal point that supports the entire tarsometarsal <laughs> articulation. This anatomy establishes a weak link that with stress is prone to injury. Sprains are the most in, most common injury with the midfoot sprain being the least severe injury. The severity of the sprain usually depends on the energy absorbed at the time of the injury. Most tarsometarsal ligament injuries are grade one, uh, pain at the joint with minimal swelling and no instability or grade two, increased pain and swelling at the joint and mild laxity, but no instability. And again, signs and symptoms of this injury, the Lisfranc injury, swelling of the foot, pain through the midfoot. So I don't have really any swelling, but I do have pain through the midfoot when standing or when pressure is applied, inability to bear weight. I would say I am in that area. Like I, I it hurts to put weight on it. I can put all my weight on it if I wanted to, but I don't do that because it's obviously hurting. Um, bruising or blistering on the arch, so I don't have that. And then abnormal widening of the foot, I don't have that. 
So this is overall, I would say, encouraging that I don't have all of those symptoms. And as far as treatment goes, so immobilization, I'm taking that uh, that medicine to help bring down the inflammation and the pain. Uh, ice and elevation, so I'm going to go inside and do that right now. Uh, possibly physical therapy once I'm out of the boot, boot. We'll just see how it goes. And he does have listed here surgery if it does not get better or if it ends up being... Um, more if basically in like three weeks there's no progress that would be a sign that something more serious is going on so anyway it's kind of a wait and see moment uh right now and so yeah that is the diagnosis i'm overall and as far as a timeline so we will talk about the cleveland marathon i think tomorrow i think we'll talk about the cleveland marathon tomorrow but he did say i should start to feel better in two weeks my appointment my next appointment is in three weeks Obviously, the Cleveland Marathon is less than four weeks from now. And yes, you learn something new every day. I don't know about you. Maybe if anybody out there has heard of this injury, let me know down in the comments. I've never heard of this injury. And I, I've been running for 20 years. Again, the L-I-S-F-R-A-N-C strain of the ligament. And, uh, and it can also be a fracture. And it can also be a dislocation of that joint. It is a very... It's a serious area of the foot, so you, you really want to be careful with it, and I'm not taking it lightly at all. So uh, he did say I can continue to cross train, so that's good. Uh, and he said uh, he said I can bike or swim, as I already mentioned, I think. So I love you guys. Oh, yeah, question of the day. Here we go. I need your help. And I've asked this before, but I think it's been four months. And since four months ago, there's probably, where? gosh, there's probably eight or 9,000 new subscribers since four months ago. Welcome, by the way, to all the new subscribers. So here we go. I need your help. Over the next two weeks, three weeks, five weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, I don't know how long this is going to take to heal. I need your help with ideas for this daily vlog. As you know, I film every day, but now... I can't go up to the mountains and film like beautiful running shots up in the mountains. I can't go to the track and film a workout. I can't, I don't know. We'll see about Cleveland like that, you know, it's uh, uh. so help me out. If you could down in the comments, let me know ideas that you would like topics you would like me to cover for this daily vlog. And I know a lot of them have already been emailed to me. I do have a working list, but I'd be excited to, uh, to continue to build that list, especially now that I can't run. I'm here for you. You're here for me. I appreciate you. Thanks for being here. Oh, what a great day. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. We got this. We got this. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. The Liz Frank joint. Mm.